Hi, I'm Lynn, the creator of Dearly Loved, a place for faith, family, fun, and a whole lot of Disney. Thanks for joining me today on Dearly Diary, where we are entering into one of my favorite times of year. Uh, we're coming up on Thanksgiving, and I just wanted to talk to you today a little bit about something that I fear is really lacking in families across the nation, and that is instilling an attitude of thanks. Very simply put, but I think so many of us see this on a daily basis, people feeling entitled, people really feeling self-important, and the bottom line is, it's not all about us. And teaching our children to step out of themselves and to show thanks, sincere thanks for what they have, there's always something to be thankful for, no matter our circumstances. One thing um, that our family has started doing probably five years ago, uh, several years ago, is we started on Thanksgiving. We didn't want to put everybody on the spot and go around and talk about what we were thankful for. So we just very simply bought a tablecloth, just a real neutral color. It's sort of kind of an ugly olive tan color, but it, it fits the mood of fall, and we lay this out on a table where we gather for Thanksgiving and set out um, a grouping of fabric markers. And every year, you can sign it as you please, just something that you're thankful for. And it is such a treasure now, after all these years, to see how the kids have changed and grown and their signatures and what they have to say about what they're thankful for changes. You know, when they're really little, they draw a picture of a a toy or something that they're thankful for and how that changes over the years. It's bittersweet to see the signatures and the messages left by people that might have passed on. This is something that's treasured in our family. It's inexpensive to do. And again, it doesn't put people on the spot. Uh, most people are willing to do this because it's just something that they can do any time of the day. That is really a wonderful tip if you want to use that for your own Thanksgiving table. Um, a verse that I love about being thankful is found in Colossians chapter 2 verses 6 through 7. Therefore, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. What a life changer it will be for you and your family if the focus is on abounding in thanksgiving and not some of the lesser qualities that unfortunately we encounter all the time in our daily lives. That's just my encouragement to you for this time of year. I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.